do I have some goodies for you. In this video, I'm gonna show you my 14 favorite planning supplies, everything except for my planners and my pens. So if you're new here, my name is Kristen. I post planning videos on my channel three times a week. Please make sure you're subscribed and I'll be right back. Before we get started, I wanted to let you know that everything that I'm going to be showing you here is linked down in the description box. If I forgot to link something, please let me know. I usually check my comments regularly, so I should be able to get back to you pretty quickly. I'm gonna start with the biggest, most awkward thing, and this is my Cricut paper trimmer. I use this to trim washi tape because I find that most washi tape is a little bit too wide for my personal tastes. And what's really great about this is you can just line up your washi tape and just slice it right down the middle. So you can do a super long piece so that you get two pieces of washi out of one, and it just makes it so much more versatile and I love me some thin washi. So that's the first thing. The next thing I have for you is this basket. I know it's a little weird. I have tried so many different ways to organize my planning stuff. I know you see a lot of those like planner caddies, like those baskets that have been popular from Amazon. I've used the acrylic caddy from Erin Condren. Erin Condren actually does have quite a few things to organize your planning supplies with. However, the tried and true thing for me is this cheap little tiny white basket and you can see all of my planning goodies are inside and all it is is just a shallow basket and this one says it was from Target. So this is the perfect size for all of my planning things. It fits my stencil, it fits all of my supplies perfectly in here and it's easy to you know tuck into my on my desk in my little cubby it's perfect and it fits everything I need and even a few extra things depending on what I'm planning I actually don't plan in my office where my desk is so I do need to have something portable um, I plan for the camera in a different part of my house that has better lighting. And so I need something that I can easily carry back and forth and then just keep everything corralled so I know where it is. So this basket is number two on my favorite planning supplies. The items inside my planning basket are of course going to make my favorites list. One of the ones that I get the most questions about is this slice tool. This little thing, it looks just like a pen or a marker. But when you take this orange top off, it's a very tiny little ceramic blade and it doesn't hurt when you touch your skin. So it's a little bit safer than using like a razor blade or an X-Acto knife or a craft knife. I mean, it still could hurt you if you really dig in, but if you accidentally like touch it, it's not gonna cut you. My favorite way to use this is to trim down stickers that are a little bit too big for the boxes that I wanna use them in in my planner. I also like to cut washi with it sometimes. This little tool helps make the stickers that you have in your stash more usable and more versatile by being able to trim them and cut them to fit your designated purpose. So that is number three on my favorites list. The next item on my list is this spatula from Cricut. It is a lifter that is meant to help you lift things off of the Cricut little sticky mat that goes through the machine. However, I use this as a sticker lifter. It's very thin and you can easily get right up underneath some stickers. You're gonna see me using this in just about every single plan with me video that I do. I get questions on it probably the most out of everything. This comes in a set of tools that also includes these tweezers, which are also on my favorites list. This is what, number four on my favorites list. I don't think I'm gonna keep counting them out in the video because I'm probably gonna forget. The reason I love these tweezers so much is that they are always closed. When you're not using them, they are closed and you, you squeeze them to open them. And so when you use these to pick up a sticker, you can set it down like this and the sticker won't touch anything and you don't have to worry about, it's just another set of hands essentially. And so they have a really nice little pointy edge so that whenever you're trying to line up your sticker just right, they work perfectly. So this comes in a set together along with these scissors. 
These scissors are not actually on my list. They're just in my basket here. So I just wanted to show you they come together. There's a few more tools that come with it and you can actually get all of these tools with that paper trimmer I showed you. Um, but you can get them without it and it's a little less expensive if you're not interested in the paper trimmer. Like I said, I'll link that below. And um, there's also some generic ones that I found that are even cheaper that look literally exactly the same. They just don't say Cricut on them. So I'll link those two. I haven't tried them, but I'll link them just so you can see in case you want to try a more inexpensive option. The next item on my favorites list is this Bic White Out Easy Correct um, correction tape. This stuff is very inexpensive. I can usually just throw it in my grocery order because it's available just about everywhere. It matches the Erin Condren paper enough to where it's, it doesn't stand out that much. I know some people like to use the Tombow correction tape because it's like a perfect color match. For me, I'm not that fussy. I just don't care. And this is so cheap. I'm not gonna spend, you know, big bucks on some white out, especially if I'm just gonna cover it up with a sticker or something. And so this is perfect for me. And if anyone ever asks me what kind of white out I recommend for Erin Condren, this is always it. This will always be hands down your best bang for your buck. Next on my list are white post-it notes. These are actually post-it brand. They're, they're super sticky from post-it. These are three by three inch squares. I love these because I can use them in so many different ways. And I'm gonna show you one of the ways right here in my planner. You can print on them. You can print on any color, but of course the white is gonna be most versatile. I will print things that I get either as free printables or I will even design them myself. And sometimes I even just draw out my own, my own little situation here, depending on what I wanna use the sticky note for. These usually come in a pack of like five or six or something from Amazon. And at first I thought, wow, that's too many sticky notes and I only wanted one at a time, but honestly, I've been flying through these and these are on my must have list. Next up are these Erin Condren dual tip dual ink markers. These are so much fun. One side is a fine point marker and the other side is a chisel tip highlighter. And in each one, the colors coordinate, but they're not exactly the same shade so that you can use them as accents. Now, these are really awesome. The one drawback is that they are not labeled and I have put my own labels on them with my label maker, but they don't stay and it's getting kind of frustrating. Um, you can see here, they stick to each other and it's just, it's not ideal, but it's just the price I have to pay to, because I wanna know the names of my markers. If you don't wanna know the names or if it's something you don't really need to know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't stress about it. They're honestly really awesome. They're super convenient and I love them. And if these ever dry out, I will probably buy more. Next on my list are these post-it page flags. These are so tiny and cute. I believe they're a half inch by two inches or something like that. I think I have a ruler here. Let's actually measure it so I can give you some real accurate information here. They are, yes, they are two inches by about a half an inch. So these are really awesome because they come in really cute colors. This all comes in a set. There actually might be one more that I've used up all the way and so it's not here anymore, but these I'm definitely going to be reordering because I use these on my Kanban system. Um, they're the perfect size for that and I love that they come in different enough different colors that I can get all the categories I need out of them. These are definitely a must have in my office. We have a few more Erin Condren items on the list. This is a set of pastel productivity page markers. I received a set of these as a gift and then I realized I absolutely love them so much. I needed to buy another set in case I just needed them or they ever went away or I lost them. I love these things. So this is my second set that I haven't needed to break into yet. And I will show you how I use this. 
This is handy for my daily duo. And you can see them here. They're sticking out the top of my planner, but because you can move them anywhere, I sometimes put them on the side. I keep the to-do one on my dashboard page so I can easily flip to my master to-do list. And then I keep the today on the day of the week it is so that I can easily flip. Next up are these Erin Condren monthly collection sticker books. These are so much fun, especially if you like to decorate your monthly and your dashboard pages in your Erin Condren planner. I only have edition seven and edition eight. And I purchased edition seven halfway through the year. This was the 2022 version. Edition eight is the 2023 version. I purchased edition seven halfway through 2022. So I didn't use the first um, seven months of those stickers. And so I get to use them in the upcoming year. But here's some, here's what they look like. These are just the, covers to the sticker books. I pull the stickers out and use, put them, I organize them in a different way, but I keep these because I just think they're cute and I'm gonna try to figure out a way to use them in the future. Anyway, these are, this is an example of the kinds of stickers you get in those books and they match the Erin Condren monthly colors in your planner. And I just love them. And there's a good mix of functionals and deco. I know there's been some discussion around the internet that there's not enough deco on these anymore. Personally, I'm okay with that because I'm not a huge deco person. I'm very much a functional planner and so these work for me. The next thing on my list is Erin Condren sticky notes and I have so many of these. I'm addicted to them. Um, they're my favorite. I have extras. These are always on sale, super cheap during warehouse sales. So they usually end up coming out to like less than $2. So I always grab extras. And the same with the snap in sticky notes. So you can see how many I have, plus all the ones that are in my planners right now. I can't get enough of these. Sometimes these sticky notes get a bad rep on um, the internet as being not sticky enough. However, I disagree wholeheartedly 100%. I used to have trouble with them and that was because I was touching the sticky part with my fingers. Once I figured out I needed to stop doing that, my sticky notes stay on my planner so long that I am not even needing to rewrite sticky notes. One of my favorite ways to use sticky notes in my planner is to pre-plan the recurring things every month. And I will show you here how, what I mean. Most of these things are going to happen again. And so I write it on a sticky note and then in the, whenever I plan this month, I move them to the next month. And these ones on the mid-century circles have lasted for, I don't even know how long. Some of them have lasted for months and months and months and I move them over and over again. So when people say that the Erin Condren sticky notes are not sticky, I think it's user error, personally. Um, the other way I use these long sticky notes is I put them on my sidebar so that I have a place to write things before I'm ready to commit to it in pen. So I go and put them in for the whole year so that I already have something ready to go and waiting for if I need to quickly jot something down and I don't wanna just write it on the page. So that's another way to use your Erin Condren sticky notes in your planner. I've saved some of the very best and my most favorite things for last. This is my Orange Umbrella Co. reusable sticker album. You can see it's very much loved. It's dirty, it's used. I've altered it a bit to make it work for me. What it is, is a sticker book that has special coded pages that when you put a sticker on it, it doesn't affect the stickiness of that sticker in a way that makes the sticker less sticky. How many times can I say sticky? So when you put your stickers on this paper, they will come back up and still be just as sticky as they were when they were brand new. This is a great way to organize stickers so that you can find things from the same category that you didn't necessarily buy from the same shop or have on the same page. And you don't have to fumble with those top loading albums and have to reorganize everything after you're done planning. It's all just on the page. So you can see here I have all these like health related 
um, stickers on one page. Most of these stickers came from freebie samplers and now that they're in here, I will actually have a, I actually use these now because I can see them and they're not hidden away in another album somewhere that I'm not typically looking through. So this is one of my favorite things. Now I have added these dividers to it to make it more functional. These dividers came from Josephine Bow Designs. That is a shop from the United Kingdom and it took so long for these to get here. They were worth it, but in the future and in hindsight, I should have ordered from a shop more local to me. And two shops that I have since found that sell these are Sarah Marie stickers and Samantha Rose stickers. They're both on Etsy. Sarah Marie stickers, I believe the dividers are pink and Samantha Rose stickers, I believe they're these same frosted clear. I've added an envelope here just for further organization for things I didn't really want to take off of the sticker sheets yet. And that's something I'll go over in another video. But this has just been a game changer for using up my stickers. It was a goal of mine for 2022 to bust my sticker stash and I have achieved that goal. And now I am still using up all of these stickers. So the dividers are removable and you can add them wherever you need to and move them around as your sticker organization needs change. So the sticker book was one favorite item and the dividers were another favorite item. The very last thing on my planner favorites list has got to be this stencil from Katie K Plans and Chrissy Ann Designs. It is the, it, it's the best thing that ever happened to my planning game, honestly. I am not an affiliate. Katie K is awesome. You probably follow her already on Instagram and watch her videos already on YouTube, but if you don't, you definitely should. This is made for the daily duo. So all of these checkbox lines match up perfectly with the daily duo. These lines match up perfectly with the daily duo. And I use this in my daily duo, but I use it in every single other planner and non-planner everything. I use it everywhere. So I use it to write, to make check boxes on my sticky notes. I use it to make check boxes everywhere. I use it to draw straight lines um, all over anything instead of grabbing a ruler because these are perfect. I use it every time I use a highlighter because this line right here, this little rectangle looking line, this fits the chisel tip of a highlighter so perfectly that you get to highlight in a straight line this thing is a must have, best purchase I've made and it's cheap and you're supporting a small business and an awesome content creator. So there you have it. This is my full list of favorites for my planning and these are things that I can't live without. Okay, I could probably live without them. Maybe I'm being a little dramatic, but hey, these things are awesome and these are things that I know I have not wasted money on and let me tell you, I have wasted a lot of money on planning supplies and these are things that I would buy again and again and again and I would never ever question it. If I lose one or break one, I'm gonna buy more. I'm just gonna buy it and it doesn't even matter. It's just, it's non-negotiable and I love them. I really wanna know, were any of these items on your planner favorites list or are any of these items now on your upcoming planning supplies wish list? Let me know in the comments. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you really liked it, please consider subscribing. I do post planning videos on my channel three times a week, every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Anyhow, I'm gonna see you in the next one. Bye. Well dang, whose bright idea was to make this video because now I gotta clean up this mess.